What's up, mama? What's up, mama? You ready to pull up? Get a little cute ass. If you be the one, can I be the two? Hands down, you're the most beautiful. Shania with the fire, you know. Fire and desire. Ooh, my glass is like mad dirty. Hold up. Shouldn't do this, but um, I'm still these glasses are still dirty. These glasses are still dirty. okay. But anyway, so y'all, I'm coming to you right now with some real like some real shit. Your girl is in shambles. Shambles. Like I'm trying to be. I'm keeping it a hundred with you. Like. I want them to be as transparent with you guys as I can. She always wants to fucking freaking play when I'm recording. But, y'all, I am in shambles. Like, I'm going to keep it a hundred with you. So, my last video that I had filmed was on anxiety and I didn't post it yet. Because I wasn't sure how you guys were going to... Um, except real issues but we're going to talk about real issues today so if you didn't know but i struggle with depression and i struggle with anxiety now it took me years to get over those things well over depression and i'm still kind of struggling with with anxiety but it's not as bad as it was um and I struggled with those things because I was dealing with a lot at one time. Um, I had a head injury. My brother passed away. The same week, my parents got a divorce. Then other family things, my dad ended up being in the hospital and me going to school and blah, blah, blah. Like, it was just too much. And right now, I feel like I'm suffocating and I cannot freaking breathe um so as you guys know i moved from baltimore to north carolina to start fresh you know what i'm saying and i've been doing that i've been doing pretty good and then lately i've been doing pretty bad um my friends know i mean it was a struggle the whole thing was a struggle but you know i've been able to keep myself and up and you know still handle it god handled it not me really is God. My friend, the people that God placed in my life, they have kept me afloat. And, you know, um, so, okay, so I moved here to start over, start fresh. Um, if you know me while I was in Baltimore, um, you know that I've been into a lot of different things in my life. Like, I'm in so much stuff. That's the thing, like, I don't know, I know where I want my life to go. I just know I want to be Shania like I know I want to be my own boss like I was born to be an entrepreneur I just know that much um and throughout the years I've changed what I wanted to do um based on my interests at the time um but it always has something to do with me having a business but if you do know me you know that fashion is a passion of mine you know that acting singing dancing all that type of things those are passions of mine and somehow I need to work that into my business boom um, so I came up with the idea of moving to Atlanta um, it just was like a, oh I can live in Atlanta um, and then when I went to LA on my way to LA I met this girl who moved from Jersey to Atlanta she was talking about um, just telling me about how Atlanta is a good place to start as far as like the industry and everything and whatnot and my family's from new york so i know about the new york part aspects of industry stuff and all of that and so while i've been here in north carolina i'm like okay how can i still work possibly go back to school and do other things that i want to do north carolina doesn't have all those opportunities for me so i'm like i really don't want to move back up north I could move to New York and live with family, but I really want to live on my own, or be on my own because it's just the type of person that I am. And 
but New York is too expensive for me to live on my own right now. So I'm like, okay, Atlanta. So my job had came up with, um, built another position with what I do in Atlanta. So I was like, oh, you know, I can move to Atlanta. Da -da -da. I try to get my friends like, let's move to Atlanta, girl. And they're like, not with it. So I'm just like, okay, I'll move to Atlanta. So I'm like, but I don't want to be in this position. So, you know, I let the Atlanta idea go. Boom. I asked for a new position. So, you know, my manager is trying to get their stuff to, you know, we can work it out, blah, blah, blah. So I prayed on it like, Lord, if you need me to like, I don't want this to be an impulse thing because I'm known for doing impulse things. So, Lord, if you if if this is something that I need to do, then, you know, let me know. I have a dream about it and I'm very I'm in tune with my dreams. Like if I have a dream about something, then most of the time it comes true. I had a dream about Atlanta. So that was one thing. Then my manager was like, oh, yeah, I have a position for you to apply for and you can choose Florida, Atlanta, stay here, or Richmond. I was like, Atlanta, okay. I applied. It was so many different aspects of doing it. I just was like, okay, maybe this is not the right time. Y'all, I'm moving in mother freaking three weeks, okay? Um, I moved to North, I moved here in two weeks. But I had a support system. I kind of had help. You know what I'm saying? But this right now, my anxiety level is like. <laughs> I can't even explain it. Like, okay. Ooh. I know I want to move to Atlanta. I asked for this. You know what I'm saying? And it's happening so fast. And I'm just like, SpongeBob. <laughs> like. Y'all. And right now I'm just like trying to figure out what I'm going to do, how I'm going to do it, breaking the lease and doing all of this. And I'm tr partnering up to see if my job will help me move, pay for my expenses, all this type of stuff. And y'all, I just want to share with y'all the struggle because I want to just document my struggles. And also I want people to realize like, everything to get to the top ain't peaches and cream okay this is real stuff so y'all heard it here i'm moving to atlanta in three weeks and i'm excited because i know what i want to do and what direction i want to go in and i feel like this is the next step for me to get closer to where i want to be and i'm also anxious I'm also nervous you know because people down south are nice but Atlanta is like a mini New, New York people nice but they sketchy okay they you know um, and that's anywhere really but y'all for my sake you know I'm going to follow my own advice Take a deep breath. Pray. Okay. And, you know, my support system is here for me. My friends, my family. Granted, I love them because they're honest with me. They don't think this is a good idea because I have to be honest with myself. I'm not prepared. I'm not prepared. But I feel as though God didn't get me this far just for me to back out of it. So you know what? I'm going to take this leap of faith and I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it and we're going to see where it goes. And I know God has so much more um, for me. Um, and I knew North Carolina wasn't going to be it. Like North Carolina is a settled down state. Shania, I'm not in that settling down stage. I don't even have a boyfriend. Okay? So... <laughs> I'm not even like, I don't even have anyone I can even think about having kids with or marrying right now. So, um, I need to do what I got to do. I moved out of Baltimore so I can do my thing. And that's what I'm going to do. So, for you guys that are scared to do what you want to do, just fucking do it. Okay, stop making excuses for yourself. Just fucking do it. Come up with a plan. Okay, 
Now, I some me sometimes I don't always have a plan. Like I have a plan, a uh, overall plan, but sometimes my plan doesn't have those step one, step two, step three, step four. It's more like one or two steps, and then like okay, we're gonna like fill this one out, and then step three, four, five, like mm -hmm. but you know take that leap of faith pray on it and just do it okay stop making excuses um if you're like me and you struggle with anxiety and stuff like that like i'm at a point now when i have anxiety i'm not letting the anxiety stray me away from doing what i want to do that feel of anxiety is just more motivation for me to get out of the, the feeling of anxiety that I have. So I have to do what I gotta do in order to stop feeling this way. So this is what I'm gonna do. You know, I'm gonna continue to film my videos. I'm gonna continue. It's like keeping up with a lot of stuff is hard for me because I will literally shut down. I will come home, say I'm gonna film or say I'm gonna edit and will not do it. I will get in my bed and I will go to sleep, period. But I'm not doing that. I gotta like, this video here is for me to motivate myself and I'm motivating other people by <laughs> motivating me. Like, you see me trying to talk myself into doing something? Like, I'm going to stay on my shit. So you can guys can hold me accountable, but I'm also holding you guys accountable, okay? We gotta stay on our shit, be on our grind, hustle, 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 like, we're millennials. We got this. We're not made to, you know, keep building up white America. That's not for us. What we're going to do is have our own things, be our own bosses, you know, contribute in our own way. This is what we're going to do. Okay? It's the time. Okay? I'm on my shit. I keep saying I'm on my shit, but I really am on my shit. I'm not playing. And I'm going to, now that I announced that I'm moving to Atlanta, I'm going to take y'all along the way. Okay, right now I'm packing up my stuff. Don't know where my stuff is going. Don't even know my living situation right now. But I'm being in Atlanta this weekend. I'm going to look at some places. I'm going to meet some people. And if y'all want more videos about real stuff, like y'all want to hear about how I deal with my anxiety, um, how I dealt with depression, let me know or don't i'm still gonna post it but this is my signature look and when a baby girl has a signature look we prosper okay in every single thing that we do so stay tuned for my future endeavors okay and make sure you support your girl period for watching my video like comment and subscribe and hey I got the fire for the millennials. This is what we doing, period.